Boogie, drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talking Out Loud with Wiz Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. This past episode of Love and Mary Turnsville, I was so disappointed in Nell, I don't know what to do. Now, she had the conversation with Melody, she did, she was upfront and honest, and told Melody that she didn't uh, agree with Martell going to jail and after Melody it broke it down and explained to her um, what happened which she shouldn't have had to because Nell knows that Melody is not going to lie on Martell and Martell must have done something to um, get himself locked up it wasn't Melody that got him locked up it was Martell that got himself locked up for his own actions but Nell did say she understood once Melody explained and broke it all down to her of what the, the occurrence is. And for her to go and meet with Martell and seem like she was so weak. Now, I don't, I, I don't know if this was edited and I'm going to say I hope that this scene was heavily edited because it made Nell look so doggone weak and so and be uh, it's like she just betrayed Melody all over again because when she told Martell that I told Melody that I didn't agree with you going to jail I didn't hear her say, but after she explained what happened, I agree with her. Like she did when she had to talk with Melody. Martell needs to hear that he's wrong. And for people to continue to uh, allow him to make up these excuses of what happened and he keep on saying that Melody did something, Melody did something, Melody did something and then he's just responding to what Melody did. People need to, if they're going to have these talks with him, they need to start checking him and letting him know that no Martel, you did X, Y, and Z. Don't allow, stop setting up these scenes for Martel to um, try to wiggle his way out of things so he can try to uh, explain, give his one-sided explanation, which makes no sense because all of the past episodes of Love and Mary Chansfield, the social media uh, dramatics, everything leads up to him going to jail. And they're not going to put him in jail just over a text message. And speaking of the text message, I am so tired of him having everybody read this doggone text message. Carlos, we've seen the text message how many times? Can we like do away with the text message? Because the the issue is it's not just the text message. It's the text message along with the picture that Martel has de has deleted. So, Carlos, you keep on editing out everything, the, the, the pertinent information that goes along with, uh, to show how Martel is wrong, or I, I don't know what you're trying to do. It's like you, you're deliberately trying to have Martel plead out his case on Love and Mary Tunsville. That's not the courtroom, but you trying to, uh, allow Martel to gain supporters and gain sympathy or whatever by trying to get other people on board to say that they believe him, that, um, he didn't, uh, that a, a black man don't deserve to go to jail. Black men go to jail every day, uh, just like everybody else. Now, some black men, yeah, they're, they're in jail, 
um, because, and they're they're innocent. But it's a it's a whole lot of men in jail that are innocent, not just black or whatever. But Martel isn't one of them people. Martel is clearly wrong. But for Nell to sit there and still try to reason with Martel and you know trying to play um trying to be the good friendly counselor to Martel that's not what Martel needs Nell she needs to recognize that Martel is not her boys and I agree I mean I understand her stance on sending black men to jail because she have uh she have sons but Martel and her sons are totally different. Her sons uh, are still at the point where they can be here rehabilitated and she can coach them. She can counsel them into making better decisions. And uh, it's not too late for her to go and get her son some help to find out why he continues to go to jail, why he's uh, been um, charged with uh, still in debit cards and stuff like that when they have several family businesses that he can work at to earn money. She could um, figure out why her son desert, uh, you know, decided to you know, drink or whatever, but her sons are still at a point where they can be rehabilitated. Martel does not want any help. He does not want to be rehabilitated. Martel wants uh, people to cater to him, feel sorry for him, and never, never say anything bad against him. As long as you going along with Martel, Martel is good. But even then, with Nell saying, I didn't, I, I told Melody that I didn't agree with you going to jail and he calling her side chicks totally disrespecting her and i don't know why carlos keep putting nail in this situation to be disrespected by martel but the problem is nail you nail thinks that martel is it, it, Martel is like her brother and this little friendly thing that they go on, that they got going or whatever this little back and forth that they do it's it's not cute because for one Nell is a woman Nell is Martel's friend's wife so for him to continue to disrespect her just imagine if Nell just think about it, if he's doing all of this disrespecting to her, just imagine what he's doing to Melody. So it doesn't take a rocket scientist to uh, to uh, know that Martel is wrong. But she wants to stay friends, and I don't, I don't understand it. But I am glad that Chris finally stood up for nail for once i mean it's a little too late for me because you don't get no second chances to do the wrong thing chris should have been on martel's head the first time he disrespected nail the first time he stepped out of line but clearly uh Martel is used to doing this because it's been mentioned that oh they just they go back and forth they like brother and sister no I don't care if they are brother and sister Martel is wrong Martel disrespecting Nell Chris should have been stepped in and put Martel in his place but now Martel get, is so dog uncomfortable with it he disrespect Nell to Chris. And which means that he's disrespecting the both of them, calling her side chicks to her husband and stuff, and then say, "Well, what's the definition of a side chick?" No, Martel, and I don't condone violence, but Martel should have been choked up or something. But 
they too soft with Martel. And I don't know if they're soft on Martel and excuse his behavior because of the longevity of their friendship, but there wouldn't be no friendship there. Because once you disrespect my wife or, you know, my, my, um, you res disrespect, um, my better half, we're not, we're no longer friends because I'm going to put you in your place and you could go about your business. And Martel, um, they, the Fletchers, you would think that with all of their prominent businesses that they have going on, that they will have a sense of, uh, they would have some type of level headedness where they not, you know, going for the bull crap and stuff like that. And like I said, I believe it, they either going off or either they're playing on, they're letting Martel play on the longevity of Chris and Martel's uh, friendship, or they are going off of, uh, it's been, you know, rumored that Martel have, information on Chris and that's why Chris doesn't challenge Martel like he should but whatever information Martel has on Chris it's going to come out sooner or later anyway either he's going to get it out through the mouth of Arion or he's going to tell it himself but either way that information is not sacred with Martel they know that and you and and when Martel does tell it, he's going to put he's going to put twenty on ten. So instead of them meeting Martel, the devil, where he is, it's like they dancing with him, playing this little game, playing it to his hands, where they continue to come out looking like the fools, and to the point where they are being. It's like they are. Let him get away with disre being disrespectful. Something that Chris, you know, now he wants to speak up and say that he doesn't, he doesn't go for the disrespect and, and, you know, he's, you know, seems like he's upset about Nell being called a side chick and he, and I'm glad he explained himself or whatever that they were going, that him and his first wife were actually going through a divorce they had, uh or and it was on paper but still martel is it, it has to be something more for chris to for chris to allow martel to act the fool towards nail as he does is i just but like i say um Chris checking Martel. I'm glad it finally happened, but I feel like it was a little too late and he still did not dig in Martel behind like he should have. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.